Hey, welcome back guys. This is going to be a quick tutorial, but I'm going to show you all how to make the Divi slider full screen along with positioning the text wherever you want it to be. Now by default, the Divi full slider will look something like this right here, where it doesn't give you a lot of control on where you can, you know, expand the page. And basically the only way you can expand it is by adding text that will push the page down. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you actually how to make it full screen along with moving the text wherever you want it to be. So really quickly, I do have some custom CSS in the description and you will need that. So right here, I'm gonna go to my dashboard and we're gonna go to Divi and go to theme options. Alrighty, so we're gonna scroll down right here. This is some other custom CSS I have. This is for the margin lines. So in case you're interested what that is, it basically creates that little line right here. So that's what that is for. But uh, anyways, let's, so I'm gonna get out my notes right here. And the first thing we're going to do is enter in this code right here. It's going to be for the slide right here. We will need to add this in the theme. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on paste and voila. So it is pasted in there. And I'm gonna go to save changes. Alrighty. Now we're gonna go back to our site right here. I'm gonna go to view. And now we're going to enable the visual builder right here. Alrighty, so I enabled the visual builder and I'm going to actually grab this other piece of code right here and we are going to put this for the custom CSS. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. I'm going to go to the first one right here and go to CSS and I'm just going to paste this right here in the main element right there. So you can see the page has already changed and you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can do whatever you would like to it. So let's say, for example, you want to put, you know, 130, you know, you can make it really, really big or however you would like it. But uh, I'll probably leave it at 90, maybe. Ah, no, 100 is good. 100 is good. So leave that at 100. And I'm going to click on X and X. So you guys can see right now, the slides are all, you know, looking good. They're all big now. Before they were tiny. Now they are bigger. Now let's say you want to change the text because by default, the text is just gonna you know, go wherever the slider is. So we wanna basically adjust it because we entered in some code and we want to basically move this around now. So really quickly, I'm gonna get out my, uh, my, uh, my slide title right here. And we're just gonna grab this code right here. I'm actually gonna close that. Oops, sorry. So right here, we're gonna put this in the slide title. So right here, I'm gonna go to the first one, which was a Creative Studio, CSS. And we're just going to put this on the slide title. All right. Now I'm actually going to go back to the other slide. And now you can see that the slide has actually moved. So right here, we can change the margin top. You can actually change it to the right or left as well. So right here under margin top, you can put margin right and you can sort of adjust it. So for example, let's say I want to do a margin top right here. I'm actually going to probably copy and paste this right here. And uh, let me see right here. We're going to copy this. Oh, I like how it doesn't go all the way. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. All right. And then right here, we'll place this out. And then we'll go ahead and put something like right. All right, so you guys can see the text is now moving to wherever I want it to go. So for example, you'll just have to basically, you know, figure out where you want it. So for example, up at 300, it's gonna go up more. If I put 400, it's gonna go up more, et cetera, 500, or I'll leave it at 200, 200. And then this one, of course, I can, you know, put it wherever I want, or I can just leave it at 100 pixels, something like that, or I can make it negative, et cetera. So that is basically how you would, you know, position it. And also you can go to the design. Of course, you guys probably know this and make the font bigger, etc. all that stuff. Okay. So that's it for my tutorial guys. If you guys have any questions regarding that, um, I'll put this all in the description to help you out because I know the Divi slider can be somewhat limited, but let's hope that changes in the future. So other than that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all later.